What's up, gang? Today we back in Chicago with the Albany Park neighborhood to be exact. An Illinois state lawmaker says repeated rolling shootouts on local roadways have turned his district in Albany Park into the wild, wild west. They're shooting at any time of the day, says state rep Jane Madre. Welcome to Chicago. Let's get to it. Federal authorities charged 11 people with running a cocaine delivery service for the La Familia Stone Street Gang, mostly in the Albany Park neighborhood, for nearly a year. Two of the suspects are already in jail, where they are waiting to stand trial for murders and other crimes they allegedly committed on the northwest side. From December 2021 until November of last year, the group allegedly ran a phone hotline where people could order crack cocaine, which the crew then bought to their doors. Even after members of the group discussed strong suspicion that law enforcement was on in them, the operation continued, officials said. Undercover Chicago police officers and Drug Enforcement Administration agents made about 53 purchases of cocaine, heroin, and drugs as a part of the investigation, dubbed Operation Bullpen, according to a court file. Investigators also tapped the delivery hotline. Federal agents shut down the hotline and seized hundreds of grams of crack cocaine and numerous firearms from various defendants, according to a press release from the U.S. Attorney's Office in Chicago. One crew member remains at large, but the rest were arrested this week or in state custody. Hader Lewis Garcia, 19, of Chicago. Edart Holtzer, also known as Finn and White Boy, 35, of Chicago. Alexis Tony Del Toro, 24, of Elmwood Park. Freddie Fredo Del Toro, 27, also known as Ricky, of Elmwood Park. Brian Del Toro, 22, of Elmwood Park. Alex Joey Hernandez, also known as Biggie, 24, of Chicago. Ruben Valencia, 22, of Chicago. Karina KK Jimenez, also known as Rena, 35, of Chicago. Kevin Ramirez, 27, of Evanston. Jonas Guerrero Castillo, 26, of Chicago. Jessenia J. Dog Cow, 20, of Chicago. During Del Toro's arrest in a murder case, police allegedly found various drugs packages for sale, ammunition, and three guns. When they searched his home on the 3900 block of North Kesey, they found another gun and $29,490 cash that federal officials described as suspected narcotics proceeds. The 115-page federal complaint said that Del Toro's directed most of their other defendants to complete deliveries that customers placed by calling the delivery hotline. On July 5th, wiretap conversations suggested that Valencia might be preparing to shoot someone. The federal complaint said, Police officers hoping to prevent the potential use of a firearm pulled Valencia over, found a gun in his bag, seized the weapon, and then let him go, the complaint said. Afterwards, Freddy Del Toro and Hernandez discussed the incident during the phone call that the authorities were monitoring. I'm going to tell you something crazy, Hernandez said. That nigga got let go. What the fuck? No, replied Hernandez. He didn't even go to the station, bro. The men then discussed the possibility that, given the circumstances, Valencia might be cooperating with law enforcement. In September, after cops stopped one of their customers and seized their crack, but then arrest them, the pair again discussed the possibility that law enforcement was onto their operation. They're watching Mo, Del Toro allegedly said. Foster and Pulaski Mo, I seen J Dog. They was coming out the already, boom. They stopped them. They're like, come here, boom, boom. Handcuffed them and everything. Took his and everything. 